Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this travel AI voice agent that will converse with your customer and it will also generate your leads. So let's see this in action now. Welcome to small group. Can I help you plan your trip? Sure. I'm planning a trip to Los Angeles. Okay. I can help with that. To start, where will you be departing from? What date would you like to leave? And when do you plan to return? Lastly, what is the purpose of your trip and what is your email? The more details you provide, the better I can assist you. Great. Uh, so I'm traveling from Chicago and my dates are going to be 11th of March to 24th of March. My purpose is I'm, I'm going there to attend a conference and uh, my email is prakash at gmail.com. Okay. I have sent you the email with your travel plan. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's good. Happy I can help with your travel plan. Have a wonderful day. So as you can see, it has gotten the response. It is searching for resorts. It's searching for flights. And now it's compiling all, all of this data together to give me the final email. And it will also save this data to my Google sheet and send me the email. And finally, it will respond to the web app. So here we got the email and it simply says, uh, here are the flight details. We have the Spirit Airlines. We have another Spirit Airlines to come back. This is the price. Uh, these are the carbon emissions. This is the all the features which we have from flight. And here we have some resort data. So we have the uh, we have first the metric resort, which is which has this price. It has all these amenities. And then we have another resort, and we have another. So it has given me three resorts, and I can choose one of them. And it has also given me some activities which I can do apart from being there. So and it has simply says safe travel, small group travel team. Now before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you like this video, so you'll be notified every time we release any crazy automation like this. And join our Discord community to get latest updates as well as the anytime template for this AI automation. Click on the link below in the description box and join our Discord community right now. Now before we see how we made this, let's understand the logic behind this conversational agent. So we have a customer and we have our travel AI agent. Now what this travel AI agent will do is, it will search for flights, it will search for hotels, it may search for activities and so on. After it has searched for all this data, it will generate a final email for the user and it will also save this into our CRM. After it has compiled this email, we will be sending this email to the customer. Great. So let's move further. So now we have customer. So now let's understand how we will make this. Now to converse with customer, we'll be using 11 labs. And to do all this task, we'll be using, we'll be using an attempt. So we'll begin with a conversational AI agent that will converse with our customer. So this is my 11 labs dashboard and I'm going to head over to conversational AI. Here you can see we have dashboard, we have agents and here we have multiple agents. So I made this agent small travel for this particular demo and here I've given us first message as welcome to small group. Can I help you? Can I help you plan your trip? As the name suggests, this is the first message our customer is going to hear. So this can be a branding agent. Next, I've given out a system prompt. I have said that you are a support agent named Eric. And in the end, I've also added that never say that there was an error. Rather, just say, give me a moment. I'm preparing your itinerary. We're also using our Gemini 2.0 Flash LLM in order to reply to the agent. And I've set our temperature as 0.5. We can reduce it. We can increase it depending on your... I haven't added the knowledge base for this document, but you can provide a detailed information about your travel agency in this rocket. Now, let's see. I've added a tool called Anytime here. And this is where things get very interesting. So I've added the tool called n and I've simply given a description that you, and I've simply given a description that you have to generate a travel plan. And later on, I have enabled these body parameters where I'll be feeding on the information from the customer and I'll be sending it using a webhook. So I've given a description set. Uh, so I've given a description like collects all the details and sends a response. And I've all added all the properties which can be fetched from the conversation. So I've said here's a destination. Here's the return date, here's the origin, we have the purpose of the trip, we have our email and we also have our departure date. After the agent has all these details, it will use this tool to send out all these parameters using a webhook. Perfect. So now we have set up our AI conversational agent using 11 labs. Our first task is done. Now we need to make an n an agent that will do all this task on the back end. Let's head over to n -N. And as you can see, we have set out a webhook to get the data. So on the webhook, you can see that we are getting all this data where it says our destination, return date, origin, departure date, everything that was sent using our 11 labs AI conversational agent. Here I'm simply setting out the fields and here I'm getting the airport codes. After getting the airport codes, you can see that I've gotten the origin as well as destination and departure and return date. Using this lang chain, I've gotten the location as well as dates, right? 
Now we are sending out this location to get the flight details to get the reason. As you can see, I'm using a SERP API to get the results. So I've passed for the query as the destination, my check-in date, as well as my checkout dates. And we've gotten an array of all the possible hotels we can stay in. Now let's head over to flights. In flight section, we have all this flight data and I'm simply querying and I'm simply passing out the parameters like what is my departure and what is my arrival, what is my dates. So using this data, I'm getting an array of all the possible flights which I can get. So you can see we have the departure airport, we have the arrival airport, what is, what is the duration, what is going to be all the features of the flight. Everything is going to be given from this API. Now we have this LLM chain which is going to be compiling all this data into a combined great email. So here, so here you can see that I've given out a very detailed form which is simply saying that we have all these details. We have given out the flight options, option one, option two. Uh, then we have our resort list. Here we are simply passing out the resort, whatever we, here I'm simply passing out the results which we get from the SERP API. Later on, we are also giving out the amenities of these, all these resorts, linked to the resorts as well as the images of these resorts. So here you can see after passing out this prompt, I have gotten this final email. I've gotten a subject and I've gotten an email. Now using this, I am saving all this data to my Google Sheet. So here you can see we have email, origin, destination, departure, and return date. We can get more data depending on your use cases to a Google Sheet. Awesome. Now we're sending out a Gmail using a Gmail module which has our email, destination, origin, as well as all the final itinerary. Now, this is, of course, a very generic travel AI agent. To make it more specific for your business, what we can do is we can have API setup, which will re recommend resorts and flights from your website. Now, since our itinerary will contain the websites which has your links, it's highly likely that the customer is going to book through that link and it will drive sales even further. If you want this travel AI agent to get customized for your agency, you just have to click on the subscribe button and book a call with me and we'll be happy to help you. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.